what is custom nodes in Comfy UI, and work with Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. As you may know, Comfy UI uses nodes in its interface for stable diffusion. We use it in a variety of reasons. We use it as loaders, samplers, and basically almost everything. With it being there, our work with stable diffusion becomes a lot easier. Anyway, here are some of the most important nodes that I think will make your task easier in stable diffusion. First things first is the Comfy UI Manager. Basically, when you click this one, you'll be able to see different functions such as installing custom nodes, install missing custom nodes, and install models. There are also other functions that can be found here, but I'm going to show you for example something. If I'm going to click this one, so I'll be able to see different nodes that I can install and nodes that I have already installed. So if I'm going to click the filter, and basically this one, so I'll be able to see nodes that I have installed through the manager. However, keep in mind that when you are going to install it locally, you will not be able to see it here. Okay, for example, the efficiency. So as you can see here for the efficiency, I've already installed this one. However, it appears here saying that I have not installed it yet. But yeah, basically this is the second node that we're going to talk about. It's the efficiency nodes. For this one, it is a collection of Comfy UI custom nodes to help streamline workforce and basically reduce total node count. For example, if I'm going to close this one, and here this is where we're going to play. So I'm going to add something, add node, and then there's my efficiency nodes. I'm going to add a sampler. All right, this one. So as you can see, they look very different. You can see here, there's more thing coming here compared to here. And the same thing for the other side. Now, what we're going to do is basically just connect all the, these things. So connect the nodes, uh, connect the positive, connect the negative, the same thing for the latent image and the VAE. All right, there you go. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, instead of adding these three things, I'm basically just going to enable this one so there you go i just enabled it and then i'm going to delete this one because we're not really going to need them and then just put you here so that's the only thing that we're going to need this time we're going to try queuing our prompt so as you can see it's now running and so far we're not receiving an error okay there you go so now we have generated an image congratulations to us now, if you think that you cannot save this one, you're actually not correct. <laughs> I can just right click this one and I can open the image just like that. And I can also save this one. Yep. So that's how you're going to do it. So you don't need to add really like an image here. You know, add a VAE decode, preview image and something like that. So basically that's what it is. Now, next we are going to load default. Okay, there you go. So we're coming back here because we're going to try another one. So the next thing that I'm going to tell you is the nested. Okay, uh, this one, nested node builder. All right, so basically its goal is to combine multiple nodes into a single node. And again, I don't seem to have it here, but I've already installed this one. So close it. And then for example, uh, this one, I'm going to try combining these two nodes. So I'm going to click here, nest selected nodes. Basically, just highlight the nodes that you want to nest. So, nest selected nodes, and then I'm going to type K sampler VAE decode, something like that. And there you go. So, both of them are now combined. So, you will be able to see that the function is all here. There you go. So, we have the image there. Everything is there. And then the same thing I'm going to try for this one for the prompt, and then nest selected nodes. So, I'm just going to type prompts all right there you go so now it's definitely much easier and uh, we don't see a lot of things going on so I'm going to try to generate an image but this time instead of save image I'm going to change this one into a preview image because I don't want to deal with so many things on my drive and yes Q prompt see we're still able to generate image so I can still open this one open image or save image it's up to me and yes, I think these are the custom nodes that we need the most in this time. Basically, you can just download this one. Links will be provided in the description box. You can also find them in Civit AI or GitHub. I hope you learned something for today's tutorial and have a good day, everyone.